Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Maka here, continuing my Life is Strange optional photos guide with episode 2. You guys really loved episode 1, which is why I'll be continuing the series all the way through all 5 episodes. As always, you can look in your journal to see a rough approximation of what your photos are going to be of. For optional photo number 1, we will walk into Kate's room. On the left hand side, you can see what I believe is a rabbit inside of a cage. And you can take a photo of it in order to get your first optional photo. Again, there are some very minor spoilers, although I've tried my best to make sure they don't show up in the video. But you'll want to keep that in mind as you do watch this video. For optional photo number two, we'll be coming outside of the girls' dormitories. And then go to the right hand side and approach the garbage can. First you want to take a look at it and then after that you'll be able to interact with it. And when you interact with it, Max will take a donut outside of the garbage can, put it on the bench, and then you'll have to walk away in order to get the squirrel from the tree to approach that donut. And then once he hops up on the bench and starts eating it, you'll want to approach the bench again in order to take a photo of the squirrel. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. After taking the bus to Arcadia Bay, we'll be in front of a diner. For this one, it's pretty simple. You just want to walk forward and then make sure you get an, a good angle on this diner sign. And if you kind of stand in front of the diner a little bit off to the back, you'll kind of want to have the sun in the background. Uh, you can snap a photo of the sign in order to get optional photo number three. Now, photo number four is not far from the previous photo of the uh, sign for the diner. For this one, we're going to have to actually go behind the diner and uh, we'll just, you can sprint through this. But after you follow down this hallway and then this little back alley, you can take a photo of the dog that's behind the fence and that'll trigger optional photo number four. If you approach the dog from the other side, you will not be able to take a photo of it. This is the only way you can do this one. After getting the previous two, we'll want to walk into the diner to kind of progress the story a little bit. Before we do that though, make sure you do go to the washroom on the left hand side as you enter. And if you go inside and look at the mirror on the right hand side, you can see some uh, scratched text into the mirror and you can take a photo of it. It says fire walk with me or something along those lines. And obviously take a photo of it in order to get the achievement trophy to unlock. Moving on a little bit more in the story, we'll come to this kind of junkyard area and if we just turn around directly behind us, as soon as we gain control of our character, we'll see a giant yellow bus. Make sure you get the same angle as me and you'll be able to take a photo of it. Break time. And moving on from that previous photo of the bus, we're just going to want to take our way back to the back area of the junkyard. And as soon as we kind of push to a certain point, our camera will be taken from us and we'll spot a deer. Then we'll have to walk towards the deer, which will kind of sprint away from us. And if we follow it for about 10 seconds, it'll eventually stop. Max will actually mention that this seems like a f perfect wow. photo opportunity. And then you can that just snap exactly a photo of the deer. And uh, that's pretty easy. That doe is the perfect photo op. Yes. 
Me After you collect the main five bottles, you'll have a little bit of story and then you'll regain control of your character with Chloe lying down in a car hood directly in front of you. Now you can go up to her, speak to her, look at her, but before you do that, uh, I am look looking at her really quick. But if you approach her from a very specific angle from this side, you can take a picture of her. Um, so you'll want to make sure you do that. Now, eventually we'll end up back in the school and we'll have to talk to David before we can progress through the hallway. But after that, your first room on the left will be a chemistry room. What you're going to want to do is speak to the teacher and ask her about the experiment. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you'll have this option right away. If you don't have an option to talk to her about an experiment, just go talk to Warren and then come back to her after you rewind time. Um, so you'll have to speak to her about an experiment and then she'll tell you about chlorine. And after that, you'll need to go back to Warren and recommend that he puts chlorine in his experiment in order to do it properly. Once Warren completes that experiment properly, you'll be able to take a photo of him with his flask. Um, and that's the only way you can do it. If you don't talk to the teacher beforehand, you won't know uh, the proper thing to recommend in order to get the right uh, outcome of this uh, chemistry experiment. So you will have to make sure you can tell him about the chlorine and you will have to make sure that he can do it successfully. So just make sure you rewind time and talk to the appropriate people in order to get that to trigger. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute. Moving on to our last collectible, moving on from Warren, just go to the back door and go across the hallway. Now, Mr. Jefferson, your art teacher, will be in front of there. You'll have to talk to him for a few minutes before you can come into the room. Before you sit down or talk to anyone, just walk straight across forward. You'll see Alyssa standing in front of the windows, and you can take a photo of her. That is going to be your last photo, number 10 out of 10, getting you uh, 11 achievements worth 145 gamer score or 11 trophies if you're playing on the PlayStation. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, you can help me out and make this channel more successful in the future by hitting that like button, also subscribing for more content, and hopefully I see you there. Thanks for watching. Peace.